You touch anyone and you regret it. Look at that! Standing up for the Punchwood family. Uh-huh. You gotta take her out because what if she wanders over to the shelter? All right, survivors, welcome back to Sheltered. Let us hop down into the bunker with the Punchwood family and pick up where we left off. We have survived so far for 36 days, more than a month. Not too shabby. Good job, Punchwood family, plus two adopted daughters. <laughs> Boy, Diane and Barbara have really worked out well for us, haven't they? I don't know what we would do without them. In fact, in the beginning, remember way back in the early days of the uh, apocalypse here? Oh no, it's Black Ray! No! Although we could use the water, it is going to be slightly contaminated. Hopefully nobody gets sick. Hey, uh, Diane, why don't you fix that shower? I know it's in rough shape. It always is. But yeah, back in the old days, we used to send Mom out to uh, Mom and Sarah, actually. To scavenge in the wasteland. And how wimpy was mom? I mean, she actually got in a fight, almost got killed. But she uh, she became courageous after that first encounter. Remember, she turned a weakness into a strength, which was quite excellent. Alright, well, this black rain is kind of cruddy for us right now. But, at least our butt's getting filled with water. Because we're going to send the girls back to Brookboro. Or at least one of them, anyway. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're going to take a look. But there's a lot of locations here that we haven't investigated yet. We have a school here, a large petrol station, and a bank. And I think I'm going to send Diane that way. We've got some houses out, out here on the outskirts. But we've got the small farm and the school right nearby. That's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. I might just send uh, Barb off there. So let's think about that. Barb is feeling better. She still has the anti-rads in her system, but I have a feeling those are going to wear out soon. Although, maybe we can get another day out of it. It's been 72 hours so far. Diane, you are exhausted. Who's in bed right now? Oh, go go sleepy. Go sleepy. She showered. Barb, get in the shower before you eat anything. And we're going to send Diane off, too, after she takes a little nap. And why don't we put some kids to work here, fixing stuff up. Oh, we have the tire. We have a tire to put on the uh, on the on the RV. Let's go do that right now. Um, how about if we? Who wants to do that? Who wants to put the tire on? Chris, go ahead, dude. Let's get in a little closer and see how everybody's doing. Oh, we're gonna shut these lights off too. So, Chris, I want you to disable that light. Disable that light. Oh, the rain stopped. That was a short little storm. Not even a storm. Um, all right, Chris. Here's what I want you to do. Go add parts to the vehicle. So we have a long way to go before we get that thing up and running. And we're making progress here. It's slow progress. But it is progress. And the important thing is that we're all still alive. The family's doing pretty well. But, you know, here's where we really want to go. We can't do much without upgrading our workbench so we can get to the tier 3 items. But we, we lack... We lack hinges. We lack a lot of things, but these hinges seem to be quite elusive. We need seven more hinges in order to upgrade our workbench. We've got everything else, as long as I don't use these for, uh, for other crafting projects. So I'm going to try to preserve those things if possible and send some folks out today to get some hinges. Now, where do we find hinges, Mom? Hardware store, of course. Oh, here we go. Let's check the parts. All right, let's check the vehicle. We got two tires. And that's it. We need lots more. <laughs> wow. Well, maybe we'll check the petrol station today, the large one at Brookboro, and see if it has any car parts. We need a Pep Boys or something. Maybe a Pep Boys, an Ace Hardware. They'll have everything we need. Home Depot, maybe. Sheesh. All right. Let's, um... Okay, Barbara's anti-rads are gone. Let's let her have something to eat. And then... Who's this? Oh, it's Chris. Chris, 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 go. Nope. You're not done, kid. While you're out there with your spacesuit, I'd go fix up some stuff, would you? Um, why don't we send Barb off? Diane is still asleep. Barb's eating, cooking on the stove. Barb! I want you to take some anti-rads. After you drink. There she goes. Have some contaminated water. But we don't get the squirts. The old Hershey squirts. Sarah's going to clean up. See a little bit of mess here. So now Barb has anti-rads. Right, there she is. So let's send her off right now. Send her off right now alone. 
Hate to do it, because she's still a little hurt. But it's a short trip. Won't be too dangerous. It's very close to home. Let's go. We have 72 waters. Um, let's go here and here. Let's just do these two. We can always send her back out. Yeah, because we'll probably fill up her satchel there very easily with those two items. Uh, with those two locations. Still have two anti-radiation tablets in stock. So that's pretty cool stuff. Let's give her some trade materials to Valium. And we obviously have to equip her with a weapon. Her favorite is the hunting rifle. Look at all the ammunition. Woohoo! Give her a stack of bullets. And away she goes. That's it, right? No mask for her. She's got the anti-radiation tablets. Awesome. And now Diane. Send you off. Oh, Barb. Go ahead. High five, little bro. Going through the shower. The decontamination shower, which is not operational right now. Chris, suit. Um, I have checked that, but it is something that's going to be coming down the pike, the, the developer said. So that'll reduce the... Uh, the radiation inside the shelter, which I don't really think this is even working right now. If it is, it's not making a very big impact. All right, Diane's just about up. Diane? Oh, wait, never mind, it's Barbara. Hold on. Hello, it's Barbara. Found a small farm. Wow, that was fast. She's sprinting. <laughs> she doesn't like going alone. Diane's going to get a drink, and then we're going to send her off. So I have... um. I've got some codes. The developers, Unicube, sent me some codes for this game, guys. I've got like five of them. So, we're going to give those away. We'll talk about that here in a second once we get Diane on her way and her little expedition. She doesn't need food or the bathroom right now. She can uh, she can hold it and probably eat some berries or something along the way. I'm going to send uh, Diane all the way to the school, petrol station, and a bank. What are, you, what are we going to find at a bank? Like, uh, there's going to be money there? Money seems pretty useless right now. There's a florist too, but she probably hit that on the way back. A lot of houses on the outskirts. We have a mask here, and we want to make another one eventually, but we're going to send her out with um, shotgun, five shells, of ammunition, and I think she's all good to go. Yeah! I also mentioned to the developers about a uh, favorite loadouts over here. Um, you know, have like loadout profiles, you just click on it, like for a certain person, or certain, um, you know, for certain types of trips, and they said that's definitely on their to-do list. So they've thought of everything. We got Barb here, and she's, oh! She's at the small farm, look at this, we got food, shotgun shells, we got some petrol, we definitely want the mask, uh, the wire, I guess we can fit everything almost, huh? don't really need the water. Let's take those two things. We could possibly trade them. Yeah, so there's a lot of little to-do items that the developers already are aware of. And uh, they have them planned. So a lot of the, especially the UI things, the graphical user interface stuff that we wish for in, in these videos. <laughs> that when I'm playing. They already have it. They know. Hello, this is Barbara. Found the school. All right. Head on in there, Barb. And oh, I see some poo down here, Dad. Why don't you fix, clean that up, would you? You don't want anybody stepping in that dog mess. What's our food situation? Twelve. This stove should make the food last a little longer, apparently. Check the condition of everything here. A good shower, of course, is not in very good shape. That thing doesn't last very long. The bed and the shower. And we have, what, 60% tool efficiency. I wonder if that helps in fixing things or just crafting. Ooh, hold on. Somebody on the horn here. It's Barbara. She's at the school. There's someone there signaling to her. Barb, you got to get in that school. Do whatever it takes. Okay, this is a guy named Robert with a crowbar and a sweater vest. How bad can he be? And knickers. Well, hello. Another one out here, risking the dust and disease. If you think I can be useful, I'm all for joining. What do you say, partners? Ooh, that's a hard sell, buddy. Um, High-pressured sales here from Robert, but nope. I'm going to have to reject you, Rob. Sorry. We don't need you. Yeah, yeah, I'll be seeing you. Good, get out of here. All right, 
now maybe we can get in school without a fight. Good, good, good. Day 38. Barbara's in school. Check it out. Wow! I don't see any hinges, though. <laughs> All this good stuff. Chisel. We have that, don't we? Yeah, owned one. We have the nail gun. Um, shucks, this is some pretty good stuff here. Don't really need the petrol right now. I'd rather have the metal. Plus, Diane is going to be stopping off at a large petrol station. Doesn't mean she's going to have space for petrol. But it's not like we need it. We have six in stock. We can always take another trip later. I think I'd rather have the metal sheets. Very handy indeed. Let's just put kids to work here. Fix that Jenny, Sarah, if you don't mind. And Chris. These beds. Go make the bed, would you? Who's this? Oh, it's Barb. She's back already. Nice. That was a nice short trip. And while she still has the anti-radiation in her system, I think we're going to send her right back out again. Perception upgrade. Nice. And just dump everything away. Confirm. And how you doing, Barb? This is what we're going to do for you, since she's hardly even tired. We're going to set up another expedition right away. No time to waste. And we're going to send her out to a small house here and a shack. And a lumber yard. Oh. All right, let's go here. Five days. I'm not sure how many days it takes for these things to get restocked. And I wonder who's restocking them. <laughs> Very curious. The elves, I guess. The restocking. The apocalypse elves, of course. That's what they are. Um, that's good enough. Yeah, do that. The apocalypse elves. And of course, the satchel. Whoops. Right click. Right click. Left click. Everybody click, click. Send party. Go, girl, go. Out the door. Ah, just like a teenage daughter. They come in, they go back out, and never around. I know, it's terrible, isn't it, Mama? Look, holding her chest. She misses her kids so dearly. She worries for them so much. Hey, kid, where are you going? Put some fuel in there. Oh, she's going to get the phone. I'm sorry, Sarah. She wants to talk to her sisters. It's Diane. Ooh, we haven't heard from her in a while. Stumbled across a shack. Oh, I know where you are. Nope. No. I bet there's nothing good in there. Just keep going, Diane. Focus. Get to that school. Wow, it's only halfway there. That's a, that's a long trip. What are we doing for water? 35 waters. Eek. Barbara. Found someone at the small house. Yeah, Barb. Get in there and check it out, please. I wonder if there's 10 tools and we get 100% tool efficiency. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Uh, who is this? Diane. She bumped into somebody on in the road. Oh, no, in the road. Oh, these are those mountain people. The hills have eyes, honey. Get your gun ready. Oh, who's this? It's Eric. We have not met before. Ah, uh, hello. Not seen many others out recently. That's what they all say. There's strength in numbers these days. I'm sorry, Eric. You look like a really nice guy. However, um, we're not, we're not recruiting right now. I'm sorry. See so ya. Yeah, have fun out there in the wasteland. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I know all about it. Stop talking. Now just get out of here. <laughs> Before I shoot. There's so many people out here. I do feel badly by turning them away. And like I said in the last episode, hopefully... Um, our decisions that we make here by rejecting people will have carry uh, uh, more weight. Especially when they come to the... Uh, when they come to our shelter and they're like, Something's chasing me! I really want to see them get eaten if I send them away and then everybody get traumatized. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, there's people at the house. Okay. Yeah, get in there, girl. That's why we sent you out to check the house. So let's see who's here. Ruth. Hey there. Friendly? It's a question she's asking. She's friendly. Yeah, she wants to trade. She's friendly. Let's do this. Look, just take it, okay? It's uh, I just need to get rid of it. Whoa, she just wants to get rid of stuff. She's desperate. Wow, those books are worth a lot. It's just trading value stuff, right? So, hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving a lot of money on the table here, but 
I don't need the Valium, and this, this crafting materials are going to come in handy. So, yes, thanks. Good trade. Beat it. I thought she said she was going to give it to me, but she clearly lied. But Barbara's charisma just went up for a nice, nice trade. All right. Oh, someone else here. Calling in. It's Barb. Oh, she's at the house. Right, of course. <gasps> Hinges! Ah! Nice. And lots of goodies. Trading materials. Excellent. And the petrol! I don't care about paint cans. I don't care about paint cans. What does it do? I mean, I know you can paint the inside of your shelter, but does it make people happier? I'm not really sure. There's really no happiness attribute or concern or factor at this point. Maybe there should be eventually, but there's, there's stress and trauma, but I wonder if there should be some sort of morale or happiness. It might be coming down the pike eventually. Who knows? I think we're good there. I'd rather have the petrol than the paint can. We're not getting into any remodeling or repainting right now. It's not important, says Mom. Just bring us the fuel. She knows. We're no dummies here. That's why the Punchwood family survived so long. What's this, a lumber yard? Okay, yeah. Oh dear, every time she goes into a place, I, I, I worry. Chris, if you're hungry, you can have a snack. He's waiting for Mom to make him something. Seriously, Chris? He doesn't know how to cook. <laughs> he doesn't know how to use this new stove. <laughs> He's like, what do I do? <laughs> oh, what would we do without Mom, huh? All right, Sarah, since you're so... She's waiting by the phone. Let's... let's Leave her by the phone. That's fine. Hey, you know, Mom hasn't been out in a while. Let's go get some fresh air, Mom. While we wait for the girls to call in. Oh, there's one. Sarah, get the phone. It's Barb. There's people here at the lumber yard. All right. Well, get involved. If you want wood, Barb, you gotta get involved. Lumber yard, lowercase. Hmm. Whoa. So I'm not the only one out here, says Patricia, with a sledgehammer. I wonder how long before I got some fresh meat to turn over. Okay, she's bonkers. You know what to do, Barb. You touch anyone and you regret it. Look at that. Standing up for the Punchwood family. Uh-huh. You gotta take her out because what if she wanders over to the shelter? If it's all the same to you, I'm just gonna run off in this direction. Bye! Yeah, figures. But the problem is we catch her, we still have to use a bullet. <laughs> it's kinda not the way I would do it. If someone ran away from me and I had the gun, I'd probably let them run, but Barb doesn't want her to come back and haunt us. Because that's what happens. If you let them go, they come back and they haunt you, right? It bites you in the butt. You guys saw Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Shoot her. There you go. You're not going to be bothering us. Ever. Oh, lovely. Thanks for your goodies! Cordite. Cordite's worth a lot, right? Is it worth more than Valium? That could be good for trading, too, eh? Let's see. It could be. I'm not really sure, but it's only one Valium for three Cordite. I'm going to take the chance, and I really want that. Oh, we get rid of that. Though. I don't think that Valium is going to help uh, poor Patricia anymore. <laughs> oh, well. See, I wonder what she was going to do with that Cordite, right? She was probably going to go blow us up. Blow up the hatch and then move in. Yeah, that's what she was planning, so it's all good. Justification for shooting Barbara dead. I mean, uh, shooting... Uh, what was her name? I already forgot, so it didn't matter. Patricia. <laughs> Let's fix these two things, yo mama. There we go. Fresh air coming up. Take a walk outside. Go we'll see the stars. You deserve it, honey. Dad's thinking about what he's going to get for her anniversary. I think it's coming up soon. He's going to have to go out into the wasteland and find something. Chris, what is wrong with you? He's really... Wa is this disabled or something? Go eat, kid. I don't know what he's waiting for. Go eat. Your hands clean? Sarah, get the phone. It's Diane. It's his big sis. She found a pharmacy. Ooh. You know what? Just keep going, Diane. I don't really want to see the pharmacy. We've been there. So let's check on uh, Diane here. Yeah, she's right there. Okay. Very close to school. Oh, let's talk about my giveaway. So I have like five codes that Unicube gave me. I'm going to give them away on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter. I'm not doing the Facebook thing. I'm not scheduling it. I'm literally just going to, uh, when I have a chance, I'm going to tweet out the code. It's going to be a, um, a picture of the code. It's going to be a photograph, an image, so that it can't be stolen by the scammers, okay? So you'll have to type it in 
manually. You won't be able to copy and paste, but that's what it's going to be. I'm going to do one a day for the next five days. I don't know exactly when because I, I can't schedule it because I miss the schedules anyway. So just follow me on Twitter, guys. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Hello, this is Diane. I found a school. Yep, that's the one. Go check it out. Go forth and learn. Now, here's a trick someone said in the comments. Have the mom, have the people put the suit away, you know, queue it up before you let him inside. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that does make total sense. It's very logical, but it's not as fun. I like when they run past it and like, hey, put it back. It's a little game that we play. It's a mini game. Hi, uh, it's Barb. Found a shack. Uh, that's where we sent you, Barb. So, I guess, yeah. Her brain is a little rattled from, that, from the anti-radiation and the radiation. She forgets, she forgets things sometimes. Diane DeBase, she's at the school. Yeah! People. Ooh. All right, Diane, you got the shotgun, right? Go in loaded, honey. Don't take any chances. It's one one person with work boots. She's got her poop kickers on. What the heck do you want? It's Deborah. She's not happy, and she's got a pipe. Great. Not the smoking kind. The hitty, the hitty kind. Well, come on, then. You want any of this junk? She wants to trade. Okay, good. Okay, good. And we're still looking good. How about that bulb? And a duct tape? Sure. All for one Valium. Man, people love this Valium. It's nice that we don't need it. Okay, so that worked out good for you. Worked out good for you, too. Deborah, so don't give me that nonsense. And take your boot, take your butt kickers and get the heck out of here. <laughs> Poop kickers. Chris, why do you have to be told what to do all the time? Are you not on auto? He's not on auto. What the heck? No wonder. What's auto? I'm sorry. Chris is like one of these kids that doesn't know what to do. You have to, you gotta tell them everything. Oh boy. This is the problem with this generation. They can't make any decisions on their own. They always text mom and dad to find out what they can do. Uh, get off my lawn. Die at a base. I found something at the school. Yep. Hmm. No hinges though. Oh, what the heck is this? It's a sander. We can use it to smooth wood down. All right. Let's smooth some wood. And we need the yarn. And we need the rope. And we can double up on that. We definitely want the teddy. Definitely want the books. Ah! Shucks. Okay. Um, what can we scrap? Haven't had any need for cir circuit boards yet. But that's probably going to be upper tier stuff. So, Well, now she's full already. That's okay. Keep on trucking, Diane. Take care of yourself now. Oh, someone calling in. Hold on. Who is that? Who this? Oh, small house in the distance. No. Oh, it's raining. Good, good, good. No, Diane, please just keep on trucking. Oh, it's black rain. It's two in a row. Filling our butts with contaminated water. Someone going to get sick. All right. Um, Dad's going to get the phones. Barb at the base. Oh, no. There's people at the shack. Oh, Barb. I really don't like it when she runs into people anywhere because you never know. As long as there's only one, she can usually handle it. Who's that? Who's there? Shirley. She's a little paranoid. This isn't the best place, but if you want to trade, we can be quick. Look, I may be beat up, but I'm not soft in the head. The price is the price. All right, well, show me what you have. Stop complaining about it. Um. Oh, cordite's not worth as much. Oh, dang it. But we have three of them. So, what was our value worth? 20, I think? Alright, tell you what. Let's get rid of the cordage, uh, the cordite, since it's kind of useless. We'll grab the metal, and we need that. And we're still looking pretty good. How about the rubber? Yeah, hey, this may work out. Take the cordite. Alright, well, make a mental note of that, guys. Cordite's not worth as much as the uh, Valium. To some people, anyway. I bet that uh, that lady that was going to blow up our shelter would have loved the cordite. But anyway. All right. Good job. There we go, Shirley. Now take a hike so I can check out this shack, would you? Barbara's charisma's going up. That's pretty awesome. And let's see what we have. Oh, it's we're at the petrol station already. It's, uh, it's Diane checking in. All right. I don't want to jinx myself, but we're having pretty good luck by running into people that don't want to fight. Uh, with the exception of that one that Barbara ran into. Uh, it's a shack. Yeah, check it out, girly girl. Nice. Ooh, another rifle. And a face mask. And a... Oh! Face mask. <laughs> we gotta grab that mask. 
Uh, we're gonna get rid of the fuse. And the bullet. Oh man. Arg. Decisions, decisions. Not easy. I'm gonna go with what I have. We can always come back to the shack for a bullet if we need it, but we don't need it. All right. Check the clipboard, somebody. Good shower is bad, and so is the bed. So let's get mom on the good shower. And wow, that already rain already stopped. Go smack that bed while Chris is asleep, would you? Forty-five, forty-five water right now. Diana Base found something here at the lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's there. Oh, see, look at that petrol. Maybe I should have. Ah, no, don't second guess. Don't second guess. Just take it and go. What is this? A wrench. We have a wrench. Yeah. This looks a little different. Uh, boy, the valve is super nice, too. There you go, Diane. All right, petrol station. Too bad there's no RV um, items. There's no parts for the RV there, which is something I would have expected. It's kind of a shame, but... It is what it is. Sarah neglecting her um, her thirst to take this phone call. Uh, police station. No, we've already been there. No need. Who's this? Oh, it's Barb. Barb's back. Yay! Barb's back. Safe and sound. I can breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, good girl. That's two trips today. You did awesome. What would we do without these two? Seriously, indispensable adopted ch children. <laughs> Confirm it. Yes. 60 XP, and Barb, don't eat with your dirty, contaminated fingers. She dropped a can on the ground, too. Well, she's, she's tired. I get it. And she's still hurt. She's going to eat. All right. Uh, Sarah, get that. It's Big Sis, and... Oh, yeah, the bank. We want to check out the bank, definitely. Let's see what Barb wrote. It's about time people stop getting in our way. If people want to try to hurt us, then they're in for a rude awakening. We have no qualms about taking a life when we need to. Look at Barb. She's not afraid to do what's necessary to protect your own. She's like Rick Grimes, right? The Walking Dead. You gotta do what you gotta do, girl. And then you're just gonna forget it. Oh, good, good, good. Regular rain. Good regular rain. We like that. Okay. So, Barb, I think I want to throw you into bed, okay? Let's do that while... Diane's out. Oh, I think the dog is hungry. Stumbled across. Oh, there's people at the bank. We can just sneak away and not get to the bank, or we can approach them and see what's inside. I think Diane can handle herself, as long as there's not a big group of them at the bank. There's one guy. David. He wants to trade. Okay. Let's see what you got, David. What? Dang, sweetheart. You fall over and hit your head on a rock on your way. What was that all about? All right. I guess he didn't want to trade. Oh, you see mom checking in on Barb. Making sure she's okay. Seeing how she's feeling because she knows she's hurt. She's very tired. Been out there by herself. <laughs> yeah, it's a bank, all right. What do we got? Whoa, what the heck? Rebar? Somebody broke into the bank, I guess. Rebar is for... Oh, it causes high damage. It's a melee weapon. Weird. And rock. Low damage weapon. I think the teddy bears now are probably our best bet for trading. And the books are really good too. So I'll get rid of the Valium now because I really want um, I want that shotgun. But this food is super important. I want that hinge though. <laughs> oh boy. I really don't like leaving food behind. But there's a lot of houses here. We'll get tons of food in the houses. I'm not too concerned about it. But we've got to get hinges. I think we're still only halfway there to the new workbench. Even with the two hinges that came that are coming back today. Um, so I think we're looking good right there. That'll do it, pig. I mean, Diane. I didn't mean to call you pig. <laughs> it's just an expression. <laughs> I real, I'm really curious about this rebar, but whatever. All right, I want you to come back now. Um, we're done. We're done, Diane. Can you just come back? Yeah, that, that's her last stop. She'll probably, want, she'll probably want to check out the florist. But I don't really want her to. Just wanted to get her back. A dust storm on the surface. 61 water. And... I, what did I tell you? Diane? 
I just want you to come home now, girl. Oh, no. Just keep going. You think we're going to find a hinge in a florist? I doubt it. Just keep going. We'll go back another day. I want her home safe. So I think what we're going to do, guys, right now is call it quits. Uh oh, wait a minute. What? Pharmacy. No, 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 no. We grabbed everything from the pharmacy that was important. We'll go back. Stop. Stop. Just get back. She's so... She, she's so curious. Yeah, just come on back, please. Alright, yeah. Let's call it quits right here, guys. There's not much more we can do. We have... Um, you know what we'll do? How many... Wait a minute. Before we call it quits. Oh, we have two gas masks in stock. So our next trip... We'll have two gas masks. We might even be able to send three if we can. Yeah, two gas masks, two anti-radiation tablets. We might even be able to send a group of three out next in the next episode. Three. The three sisters. Yes. That'll be awesome. What do you think about that, Sarah? She's going to love that. It's going to be so much fun. Barbara should be 100% by then. So uh, we'll do that in the next episode. And why don't, uh, while you're thinking about that, kiddo why don't you clean up and how's our dog doing he's all right oh, wait 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 last phone call then we're gonna call it quits uh sneak away Just sneak away and get home all right with that folks i think we are gonna call it quits hope you all enjoyed and we will see you in the next episode so uh take care until then have a good day Bye bye